Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been forever since I have done any sort of beauty, skincare, or makeup haul. So that's what I'm doing for you guys today. I've got a few things from a few different places. I've got Ulta, Nordstrom, and Sephora. I've been accumulating these things since Christmas. January and now February. I got some gift cards for Christmas. I've just been picking up a few things here and there. So I've got a pretty wide variety of things to share with you guys today. So I hope you're ready. I will have all the products that I mentioned today linked down below in the description box, as well as all the makeup I am wearing on my face in case any of you are curious. So if you wanna see what I picked up from Ulta, Nordstrom, and Sephora, then let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Sephora first. Um, this is picked up from a couple different trips. Um, I want to mention two lipsticks that I recently purchased and it's the lip combo that I have on right now. This was the lip combo that I had on in one of my recent vlogs too that I told you guys I was really excited about. Um, they're two of the new Kat Von D. These are the Studded Kiss Cream Lipsticks. Now, I love her liquid lipsticks, and two of my favorite colors in the liquid lipsticks are Ophelia and Muneca, so I was so excited when I found out she made them in lipstick form, and just like the liquid lipsticks, I mixed them together. So this is Ophelia here. It's a pretty darker nude. It's more of like a fawn nude color, and here it is swatched on the back of my hand. So I laid this color down first, and this is Muneca here. It's a pretty peachy pink color it's on the lighter side it's so similar these are so similar to the liquid lipsticks that i love to wear and there's muneca swatched next to ophelia so i have ophelia on first and then i put muneca on over it these lipsticks are so creamy they wear really nicely i'm so glad i have my favorite nude lip combo in cream lipstick form because sometimes i don't want to wear liquid lipstick sometimes liquid lipsticks can just be a little bit too high maintenance if you have a favorite liquid lipstick from her pretty sure all of her liquid lipsticks now come in these studded kiss cream lipsticks so you should definitely check them out if you haven't already i picked up another laura mercier translucent loose setting powder um this is like my third or fourth one i have been using the Too faced um peach setting powder and i really really like that one but the Laura Mercier one is just the best. So I use this to set my concealer under my eyes, um, anywhere that I put concealer down my T-zone. Um, it just does a really good job of setting your concealer without it creasing, which I have fine lines underneath my eyes, so anything that's gonna help me not crease is just my go-to. The last two things I picked up from Sephora are masks. And me and my skin have been, we've just been going through a situation recently. Um, so I can use all the hydration, hydration and plumping that I can get. Um, the first one is the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Bouncy Mask. This is a repurchase for me. I love this mask. So um, if you haven't already seen it before, it's like a jelly. The consistency is very odd for a mask but it feels so good on your face, especially if you have dry skin. This just feels so nice and cooling and hydrating. You dampen your face a little bit before you put this on, let it sit for like 20 minutes, and it helps to nourish, calm, firm, plump, and refine. Hence, five-in-one bouncy mask. This is a really great mask. I really recommend it. My face feels super hydrated and plumped after I use this. Love it. It's so nice and refreshing. The next one that I got is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Um, this is my first time trying this. I went ahead and got the smaller size just because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, one, I'm not the biggest fan of watermelon scents, but this one does not bother me because it's not super strong. The consistency is very similar to the Bouncy Mask. It's like this um, jelly kind of bouncy formula. I think that's why I like it so much. Um, I have not used this as a regular mask. You can use this as a regular mask or as a sleeping mask. I've been using it as a sleeping mask and I really do notice a difference when I wake up the next day. My face is nice and hydrated. It's glowing. It's plumped. Um, I was really pleasantly surprised with this because I bought this knowing very good and well that I might not like it, um, but it's really good. I really like it. So if you're looking for a hydrating sleeping mask or just a hydrating mask in general, um, I would give this one a try. We're going to go ahead and move on to Nords. Nords is one of my favorite places to shop, not just for makeup, um, but for clothes as well. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is a foundation. Now, I mentioned in one of my recent vlogs that I had purchased the new NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I think that's what it's called. Um, but it did not work out for me. It 
separated, came off, was super patchy. It just did not work for me. I'm not sure why, it just didn't. Um, so I decided to return it and I went ahead with the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Now this is my, my second stick foundation that I've tried. I tried the Smashbox Foundation slash Contour Stick Foundation didn't like it. It didn't work out for me. Um, this one though, so far so good. It's the foundation that I'm wearing today. Mine is in the shade shell. Now they have a really, really nice shade range in these. Like I was shocked. I actually had to ask them for help when it came to shade matching because it was very overwhelming because so there was a lot of options. I really like it. I can't tell you that it's my absolute favorite because the Dior Forever Skin Foundation just has my heart. Also too, because I'm not used to working with sticks, so um, my comfort zone is definitely with liquid foundations, but the coverage on this is wonderful. The finish is beautiful. I would say if you like the Dior Forever Skin Foundation, you would like this because the finishes is very similar. Um, another thing that I have to get used to with this is um, applying it with a brush. I'm a huge fan of the Beauty Blender and I use the Beauty Blender for everything, um, but the sales associate at the counter told me that the best way to apply it is with a very dense brush. I have the Morphe foundation brush, I can't think of the name of it, um, but it's a nice dense kabuki and it blends it out really well, but I still go in after I've applied it with the brush with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is evened out and there's no smudges or smears or harsh lines that um, a brush can sometimes leave behind. But so far I really like this. The wear time on this is great. It wears beautifully throughout the day. It lasts a long time. I just have to get used to the fact that I have to apply it with a brush and it's a stick and not a liquid. But I'm very pleasantly supplied, su supplied. I'm very pleasantly surprised with this, um, and I do really like it. And it's really nice. Me and Kevin are gonna go to Nashville next weekend. I'm so excited for our fifth wedding anniversary, and this is gonna be the one that's coming with me just because it's super travel friendly, so. I'm excited. If something changes and I decide that I don't like this or I find that it's breaking me out or something, I'll let you guys know, but so far, so good. The next product that I want to mention is a mascara, and I decided to go with the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Um, Alana Davison talks about this mascara all the time, and I really like her, her channel, and I typically like a lot of the things that she recommends. Now, this is a good mascara, but it's not my favorite. Um, the reason for that is the formula. It is a wetter formula than I prefer. I do prefer drier mascara formulas just because I have naturally long lashes. So wetter mascaras tend to get really messy. Also, you have to be very careful when applying this mascara because it can clump really easily. So it's not um, a carefree apply and go. I really have to take my time and make sure I'm applying it very evenly to avoid um, any sort of clumps that go along with it. Um, that being said, the mascara is very good. It's just a little bit high maintenance for my taste. Um, my favorite mascara is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. I love that mascara. It does a great job of lengthening, volumizing, separating. It's a drier formula and it's just very easy to work with and you get a beautiful result. You get a beautiful result with this, you just have to take a lot more time. I find anyways. It may be different for some of you because I know everybody has different lashes and different tastes and stuff like that, but that's my two cents on this. It's a really nice mascara. You just have to take your time with it. I bought a primer. I'd been running out of a lot of my primers and I've used this one before, but it's been forever. It's the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. Laura Mercier has great foundation primers. Um, I also really love the Too Faced primers. This hydrating one is wonderful. It's the primer that I'm wearing today. It feels so nice on the skin. It feels almost like a moisturizer. Um, so if you have dry skin, I would really recommend trying the hydrating one. It's very hydrating and feels wonderful on the skin, but it doesn't um, produce a lot of oil throughout the day. Um, so I just really like this. I'm glad that I went ahead and picked it up again. I don't remember why these primers came into my mind. Um, I think it was just because I had used um, my Too Faced primers for so long. I love the RX and the Primed and Poreless, and my skin has been a little bit drier lately, I think just because of the weather, and so I just wanted to go ahead and jump out on a limb and try this one again, and I'm really happy that I did because it's really nice. Even if you don't need a hydrating primer, Laura Mercier has like two or three other primers, so one of them is bound to work for you. Last thing that I want to mention from Nordstrom is a moisturizer, and this is another moisturizer that I loved and used 
religiously a while back that I hadn't used in a long time. And I've just been, like I said earlier, me and my skin have been going through some things. So I've been trying to get back to things that worked for me in the past to correct whatever weirdness is going on. But this is the Origins Starting Over Moisturizer. It's very thick and very heavy and it's very fragrant. So if you are sensitive to smells, or your skin is sensitive to fragrance, you might wanna steer clear of this one, but I love this. It does a great job of hydrating, making my skin feel super soft and glowy the next day. I only wear this one at night. I do not recommend wearing it during the day or under any sort of makeup. Um, you will produce a lot of oil even if you were dry. Um, I've seen reviews from people saying they hated this moisturizer because um, their makeup doesn't wear well over it. I don't think that it's meant for you to wear under makeup. I think that it's absolutely 100% made for you to really wear at nighttime. So if you've tried this before and you wore it during the day, try only using it at night. It's wonderful. My skin really does love it. Um, and I can tell my skin missed it because it just drinks it up overnight. I love, love, love this moisturizer. Moving on to the last bag. Let's see what I got from Ulta, shall we? I went to Ulta this morning, so this stuff is fresh, but I've tried almost everything in this bag, so let's dive in. Continuing on with skin, going back to using products that I had used in the past that really worked for me when I was having really, really good skin, I picked up another Clarisonic brush head. Now, I have not used my Clarisonic regularly in probably six months to a year and um, ever since my skin just is not the same my biggest skin concern is my pores I have very large pores and no matter what I do I always have blackheads and over the last six months to a year I've spent a lot of money trying different exfoliators trying different serums treatments and nothing seems to work and I was thinking about it the other day and I was like you know what I think it is I think it's because I stopped using my Clarisonic and the um, brush head that I like to use is the deep pore brush head so it's the blue one and when I use my Clarisonic I well, first of all, I always double cleanse. I always double cleanse my face. I wash my face to get the makeup off and then I wash it again to cleanse my skin. So I will wash my face first with my hands to remove all my makeup and then I will go in with my Clarisonic to cleanse. Um, I'm really curious to see if this is going to help with my pores and if it is, I'm never not gonna use the Clarisonic again. So um, like I said with the moisturizer just a second ago, I'm trying to go back to things that I know really worked for me before because I don't know if you guys are like me, but even when I find things that I really, really like, I love trying new products too. And sometimes you just gotta stick with what works, even though it sucks to not try new things, but sometimes you just gotta stick with what works. So I'm gonna go back to using my Clarisonic and I really hope that it helps my poor situation that I got going on. This next thing, I told myself I was not going to buy it when it was released. I was like, I don't need it. I don't need another contour palette, but it's been speaking to me been speaking to me I've been seeing it I've been seeing a few videos on it and I decided to check it out in person I tried it for the first time today it is the Tarte Park Avenue princess chisel palette I told myself I wasn't gonna get this for one I have the Tarte clay play face palette but I'm glad I did check this out in person because they're very different um, first of all the packaging is stunning like it is gorge so pretty. And what's inside is very beautiful too. Um, if I can get it open. I'm sure you guys have seen this already. But it's so pretty. The colors are beautiful. You've got your highlight shades. They're both matte. You've got two shimmer shades on the outside and then your two matte shades in the center. I used this palette today for the first time and with contour palettes and products like this, you pretty much know if you're gonna like it the first time that you use it. I love it. I used it as my contour. I used it as my bronzer. It is beautiful. And what I really like about it is that the it, it's pigmented, but it applies very lightly and sheer so that you can build it up. A lot of contour palettes are extremely pigmented that just even the tiniest amount can sometimes be too much and too harsh. So I love that this goes on a little bit more sheer so that you don't really mess it up at all. So this is amazing. This might be the best contour palette that I've ever tried. Um, but the highlight shades, I wanna talk about the highlight shades for a second. Um, I went ahead and did this today 
pretty much knowing it wasn't gonna work. I cannot set my under eyes and my concealer with powders like this. Um, no contour palette that I've ever used have I ever been able to set my concealer with the highlighting shades and contour palettes just because they are a little bit heavier and my under eye area is an area that I have to be very careful with and the only way I can set my under eyes is with a loose powder. If I don't set it with a loose powder, I do get more creasy throughout the day, but they're so nice and light but bright and pigmented that what I'm gonna do in the future is I'm gonna set my concealer in my under eyes with my Laura Mercier loose setting powder and then stamp the highlighting shades like right here and at the high points of my face just to kind of lock it in and just brighten those areas. Um, and then the contour and the bronzing shades in here are just beautiful. So um, if you've been wondering about this and you were like me being like, girl, I don't need another contour palette, you need to check this bad boy out. The packaging is gorgeous and the product inside is beautiful too. Um, I really think that Tarte hits it out of the park with this. Definitely my favorite contour palette so far. Last two bits and bobs are hair. Picked up another Batiste dry shampoo, it's my favorite. I just use the clean and classic original. I find that it works the best. I don't really care for the other special scents. And then I went ahead and got a round brush. This is just a boar bristle, I think that's what you call it, a boar bristle brush. Um, it doesn't have any of the little um, regular brush bristles on it. But I got this because of Alexandria Garza. She recently did her hair routine video. And now that my hair has gotten longer, sometimes I just want to be able to blow dry it and just be done. I don't want to spend too much time on it. So I decided to go ahead and get a round brush to help at night whenever I'm blow drying my hair. I'm hoping that I can just kind of use this to help me blow dry it so that it's just a little bit more smoother and sleeker so that if I want to, I don't have to feel like I need to curl it or straighten it or do anything else with it. So um, I went ahead and got a round brush. This is the Ceramic and Ion Turbo Vent 100% Bore Round Bristle Brush. Um, it has Olivia Garden. So I don't know if Olivia Garden is the brand name or if it's, I'm pretty sure it is, Olivia Garden Ceramic and Ion 100% Four bristle brush, holy cow, that's a mouthful. Um, so yeah, I've never really been that big of a fan of round brushing my hair, um, but I think that's because I never really took the time to learn how to properly do it or just use it to my advantage. I'm curious to try to, you know, round brush my hair out when I blow dry it. Hopefully it'll save me a little bit of time when it comes to um, fixing my hair. And it's just, my hair's getting longer, so I feel like I can probably get away with just, uh, giving myself a blowout and hopefully it'll be okay. All right guys, that is my haul. It has been a long time since I've done a haul, so I'm sorry if this video is a little long, but I wanted to share the things that I picked up recently and give you my feedback on the products that I've tried already. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any requests or questions for me, just leave them down below in the description. I almost said in the description box. In the comments section, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.